hi folks uh, welcome to my channel um today i'm going to show you a tip of how to uh, test a serial uh, communication cable using the uh, putty command on windows so basically here i've got an rs232 uh, converter um converts your dp9 connection nine pin mail there to usb so if you've got a device that's using a, a dp9 connection uh, you connect that to your software most of the times you're not sure whether the termination the pins are correct so what you do with the PUTTY uh, in uh, console is if you know you transmit and receive pinouts here um, you short one end then you use the PUTTY to check an echo feedback from the data that you send from the console I'll just show you that in a bit. I'll switch on my laptop. What we have here is our interface. There's a DP9 mail there, and we've got our scroll on terminals. So, um, usually, when you're counting these numbers, you count from the left hand to the right hand. Uh, when you're facing the uh, the interface so my number one pin is at the top left then my number nine pin is at the bottom right so each of those pins corresponds to these numbers there on the scroll terminals so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, gender changer for connecting my nine pin mail to another nine pin mail. I'm going to sandwich gender changer between the two of them. So according to the manufacturer of this device, uh, pins 2 and 3 should be my receive transmit pins, uh, but I'll just check that by shorting the pins there, then using my uh, PUTTY screen.
Right now, I have an open circuit between my two pins. So if I type something on my PUTTY, any letter really, I can type EMG. Nothing pops up on the screen. But the moment I connect my two pins together, I should start getting something. My, my send and receives are now shorted through. So when I type, I get that feedback. So I'm now happy I know that uh, this serial converter is working perfect.